you know, so vo so Joe Biden's uh, VP is going to be really crucial. Uh, it's going to be a situation where you have Joe Biden, this severely uh, impaired person, just just cognitively impaired person. It's so sad uh, on a human level, on a political level. It's just horrible. It's just it's pathetic and so many things, but it's really sad. But it's going to leave the, the, the vice president in this default position where they're going to have to really be guiding Joe Biden, okay? Like, Joe's, it's going to be Joe's staff, you know, his appointments. Uh, he, the cabinet is going to be running things more than usual. Um, because you just look at Joe Biden, he's not there, guys. We all know this. If you're not gaslighting yourself, you know this. And I think there's a big part of the general public that just isn't paying attention. For whatever reason, they're not paying attention to, to Joe Biden and, and how cognitively impaired he is right now. You know, and that... Time to pay attention. But anyways, the, the, the vice president is going to be the default president. Let's just face the facts here. It's going to be... VP will be the default president and his cabinet will be playing uh, even more pivotal roles than before. Because this guy is just so gone. He can't string a sentence together without getting his notes out. Literally. Watch one of his interviews. What can this guy accomplish? You know, <laughs> these Biden voters are really in denial and they're also just riding high on Obama-Biden nostalgia. Where it's like, oh, okay, we're going to get the normalcy of, of the Obama era. The perceived normalcy, anyways. Uh, but, you know, compared to Trump, it's, you know, it's it's heaven compared to, to Donald Trump. It's such a disaster. Uh, so that's how they're seeing it. That's not how I see it. That's how they're perceiving this. So, but anyways, Joe's VP will be the default president if this plays out this way. I just don't see it any other way. Uh, what? I don't know how they're going to string Joe out in public at all. Think about this this time run right now. Just read the zeitgeist for a minute. We need leadership during this global pandemic. Trump can't give it to us. Trump is a political hack. Okay. Um, are we looking to, to Joe Biden, who literally cannot get a cohesive sentence together in any way, shape, or form? And we're gonna we're gonna call that leadership. You can just see where they're, they're flying. Oh my God! There's a turkey. Turkey boy. Lonesome turkey. Where was I? Where was I before turkey boy came in? I don't know. I don't know. All I'm saying here is that Joe. Joe's VP is the default president. Um, you just know Joe cannot make executive decisions right now. He's going to have to be informed on everything. Like, more than usual. I mean, all presidents are informed um, and have their people and their cabinet and, and whatever. But Joe is so cognitively removed that it's going to be more so than usual. Um, there's just nothing in this guy. Very vacuous. He's an empty suit. He's always been an empty, an empty corporate suit. That's, that's always been Joe Biden. He brags about that. He loves the pay-to-play uh, system. So let's hope he forgets that. Let's hope he forgets all that and becomes a progressive. I mean, these these are the these are the variables we have to work with. These are these are the measures of hope uh, we have to believe in at this time because we're a very regressive country. But yeah, whoever, whoever Biden's VP is, good God, they're, <laughs> they're the president. That's it. Anyways, let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe, click the bell. I'll meet you in the comments.